What happens when you enter your browser, type a URL and click enter? Our goal is to get an IP address for the server who has the resources we need. Resources can be HTML files, JavaScript files, images, etc. Before we dive into the details, did you ever wonder who pays for this process? Stay tuned because we'll cover it and much more in this video. Let's start with the basics. The process is called Forward DNS Lookup. DNS stands for Domain Name System. It is a forward because we start from the domain name and try to get an IP. The opposite way is called reverse. So, we enter to the browser, type google.com and click enter. Now, our browser will check its cache to see if it already has this IP for previous activities. If this fails, we try to look for it in the operating system. This is why we can use domains like localhost for local development. If this fails, we we'll start the process by asking our DNS resolver, also called ISP, Internet Server Provider. It tries to look at its own cache and if it has the answer, the process is completed. But here comes our interesting part. What will happen if ISP doesn't have the IP of Google.com? It will send a request to the closest root server. These are servers that are distributed over the globe strategically to have the ability to respond fast worldwide. The root server doesn't know the answer, but it knows which server we should ask to get the IP we want. It will send us to the top level domain, TLD, which is relevant for us. In our example, we need the TLD of, of all the domains with .com at the end. We also have a TLD for .org, .net, or top-level domains for countries. Now we'll ask the TLD. It will send us to the authoritative name server, ANS, which has all the IPs for this TLD.com in our example. We ask the authoritative name server for the IP, and it responds with it. Our ISP server will get the response, save the IP to its cache, and return the answer to the browser. The browser will save the IP in its cache as well. Nice, we figured out how it works. We're able to do it because there is a huge infrastructure that works fast and distributed over the globe. It must be expensive, but who pays for it? The ISP server is paid by your internet provider, as the name suggests. The root servers are managed by a group of independent orga organizations, including non-profit, academic, government, and private entities. The top-level domain are managed by TLD registries, such as Verisign for .com or Public Interest Registry for .org. As we saw, one of the key factors of returning an IP to the user so fast is caching, so make sure you understand this concept with this video. 